Hey, what's up guys? How's it going? I'm Enrique and this is Easy Things to Draw. Hope you guys are doing well. Uh, so this video is going to be about my experience painting a utility box. Uh, I'm not really sure if they do this all over the country or in other countries, but here in the U.S. and major cities, they uh, assign uh, artists to paint on these utility boxes that are on the side of the road. You know, Otherwise, they'd just be these ugly, you know, gray things. So... Um, you have to get permission to do that. Uh, somebody that runs the art shows here in San Diego it was assigning these boxes to artists, and I just happen to be one of them. So the, the here's pretty much what went through my head. Um, for this box, I didn't know it was going to be this big, actually. The box is huge. The box, I, I thought it was going to be like my maybe my waist level, you know, totally square. Instead, it's kind of like as tall as I am, and it's... Uh, you know, it looks like a giant cabinet. So the, there's two things that went through my mind. Number one, uh, I'm not getting paid for this. This is more of a volunteer thing. And you know what I mean? I I thought it would just take too long for something that I'm not really getting paid for, that I'm doing just for fun. So I thought it would be much better to, uh, you know, make it a group activity. I wanted to make it an excuse to bring some friends of mine and just have fun. And that's kind of what I ended up doing. And also it would take us less time too. Because I know if I did it on my own, I'd probably take like two weeks. Uh, I would much rather take like four days or something, which is about what we did. But we, it was a little bit harder because I had to schedule people. So what I first kind of did, and by the way, I've never painted one of these ever in my life. So everything is just a learning experience. Uh, I went to uh, Home Depot to get paint, that kind of acrylic paint. So I wouldn't like you know, come off in the kind of the daylight and the rain, stuff like that. I ended up asking one of my good friends who paints utility boxes for a living. I, I asked him everything and he said, get the house paint because it's more durable than, you know, regular acrylic paint you get for artists. So I ended up doing that. I ended up putting a primer. I think day one, me and my uh, good friend, Lyndon, uh, we went out there to, who's also an artist. He uh, went out there to put a primer on it, like with a spray can. Essentially, here's the idea I had, right? I want an idea that was kind of loose enough for people to follow. So what I wanted to initially do was an aquarium, right? So I painted the primer as if it was going to be an aquarium. And uh, so the back would be black and then the primer would be uh, blue. And what ended up happening is people picked all kinds of crazy shit. So <laughs> my friend did the Loch Ness Monster. Uh... My other friend did a pretty cool fish as well, and, uh, you know, I did an octopus on the front, and my friend put some kind of gears in the uh, back section to make it look like a like the fish tank gears. Although it doesn't really look like a fish tank, it just looks like the ocean with a big metal slab of gears next to it. <laughs> so that, that kind of idea kind of fell apart, but I still think overall it looked good, you know what I mean? And, uh, you know, it pretty much used normal brushes that I use for painting on canvas, uh, except the paint, like I said, is from Home Depot. It is a completely different paint. Um, felt good though. And my, my section was really fast. I wanted to do something without shading as well. I wanted to do something very graphic. That's why I chose this octopus to do because I wanted some very, very graphic stuff. And, uh, I guess the, the entire crew would be me, uh, my friend Lyndon, who really helped a lot. My friend Sally, who painted, uh, this cool, like angry fish. Uh, my friend Che, who painted the uh, Loch Ness Monster, and my other friend Karina, she painted uh, some of the stuff toward the bottom, the parts with the uh, the crab and the, you know, the, sp uh, the star and things like that. So overall, great fun. I'd love to do another one one day. I just, uh, you know, want the opportunity to do it again. I'm thinking about getting maybe a smaller one so I can do it on my own. But uh, anyways, it was a great experience. And, uh, yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys. I thought you guys might find that a little bit interesting. And, uh, anyways, I'll talk to you guys later, and uh, I'll see you soon.